Hello Pisces, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your love reading and it will be for May 2021 for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching oracle card for the month. So, and probably will resonate from now till the end of May. So what do we have for Pisces, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Pisces, thank you. In love only, romance, relationships, please. May 2021. Message for Pisces, thank you. Okay, so I have freedom. See the ghost cage there? It definitely feels like um, there's some freedom here. And we have dreams. Okay. What do we have for Pisces, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Pisces. Thank you. Um, so I'm going to pull three cards, Pisces, and then we clarify, go deeper into the messages we always do. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you as always. I'm using the tarot grand lux here and then i'm using the uh, tarot of dreams i've got three cards here pisces let's go with it so we have the two of wands in your challenge position with the chariot and the knight of swords i'm going to put them like this actually i feel i need to those are the cards for you Message for Pisces, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Message for Pisces, thank you. Yeah, we've got the four of pent four of pentacles or four of coins. Love it. We have the Knight of Coins there, Pisces. And the Swords energy. There you are, the Moon energy. That, that is your card, the Moon. Bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Coins. There's a kind of feeling here, Pisces. I, I wonder what... I, I'm just trying to under, understand what's going on with you because there's a feeling of lack. Um, low self-esteem, low self-worth. Uh, definitely this kind of like insecurity, insecurity energy. Uh, for some of you, it feels... I'm getting this energy of putting up barriers to exploring new opportunities, to exploring new opportunities in your future, to taking, making choices, you know, it, it, sometimes there's an energy of, you know, this can be about ready to step into the unknown. And yet with this inhibited energy, the four of coins, it's almost kind of like someone staying in their comfort zone and not taking the action they need to explore new territory. It feels in this situation there is some kind of cage here. And, you know, I was seeing that it's interesting. I saw that ghost cage. And sometimes we can create cages of our own making. And I'm definitely feeling that in this energy with the Four of Coins. Um, you're putting up barriers here towards exploring some potential in your future, in, in the unknown. Uh, there's, there's a feeling of I'm staying right where I am, I'm staying in my comfort zone, self-preservation, self-protection, whatever you want to call it here. And obviously something's happened to make you feel like that. Now it could well be the pandemic for some of you, you know, it might not just be you, it could well be to do with the pandemic here for, for some of you. 
But it, it, it feels more than that. It feels like you've had some kind of challenging path to walk on, to deal with. And it's made you reserved. Maybe a little bit insular as well. Maybe very cautious and being quite happy to stay in the safe zone rather than explore love with somebody new. But there is definitely an energy that if you allow yourself, even though it feels like somebody has had a challenging path to walk on here, if you allow yourself to take the reins and go for something anyway, uh, charge ahead anyway, have that perseverance to overcome any reservations or blocks or barriers that you might be put up. I mean, if it, there's definitely an energy of push the boundaries here. There is some kind of offer opportunity at the end of it. And the coins energy, you know, the coins is to do with, uh, it can be to do with relationships, you know, people we potentially build our lives with. It can be an energy of getting back on track in terms of health. It can be money, career finances. It can have property energies. So it, it feels in this situation, I mean, some of you might be moving home, um, but it's also an energy of persevering to bring change to your situation and potentially some kind of opportunity coming your way because this can be an energy of somebody making you an offer let's clarify this knight of coins and it's whatever context we're doing love at the moment so it, it feels Feels that there's a real turning point available to you here. Let's clarify this Knight of Coins, please, Angel Spirits Guides for Pisces. Thank you. We have Emperor Card of Aries, the Knight of Coins is Virgo. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is somebody who takes authority, takes charge, takes control of a situation. I mean, it, it can be more of a masculine energy, I have to say, with the with the Emperor. Um, but there's definitely an energy of if this is you, you need to take authority take charge of a situation I'm going to pull one more for that one We've got the Eight of Cups, which can be somebody walking away from you, you, you walking away from somebody. It, it feels, Pisces, what this was. And what I'm getting is somebody could have walked away from you, like I said, you could have walked away from them. But now is the time to take authority, take charge of a situation. Uh, at the bottom of this deck, I've got the Strength card, which is about facing fears, facing adversities, facing them, staring them in the face, um, rising to any challenge that you have, because that's when you can overcome them, when you face them. Uh, don't let them keep you stuck keep you in a bubble you know it's definitely an energy of now is the time to overcome there's victory there's success here maybe some and it feels to do with some kind of opportunity or an opportunity to heal get back on track after somebody may have walked away from you there's an opportunity to take charge of your life be in your power have the courage to face your fears face your doubts Because there's definitely an energy with the Five of Pentacles of outcast, rejected, uh, low self-esteem, low self-worth. But certainly with this moon energy, this is about surrendering. Surrendering. Because I definitely feel for some of you, there are new conversations coming your way. Um, and interestingly enough, the moon card is also to do with dreams. You know, it can be a card of dreams. Uh, so there's there's definitely an energy here of don't let the lack own you. And I'm definitely in a, there's definitely this kind of energy of explore new dreams, surrender. Um, 
It feels in this energy that the Knight of Swords can be news, information, conversations coming your way. Let's see what that Knight of Swords is. What is this Knight of Swords, please, for Pisces? Recovery. So we have the Four of Swords needing to recover from a situation. But it feels for some of you, you either have an opportunity to get back on track or there could be some kind of person coming in your life that's bringing change. It, it definitely feels for some of you, whatever has kept you trapped, you have an opportunity to free from it now, Pisces. Um, there's definitely an energy here of, it, it definitely feels like some of you have been on a difficult journey, but there's an opportunity to overcome that now, bring some kind of powerful turning point, a sense of recovery. Uh, it feels that there has been some difficult news that you were dealing with, where you felt outcast, rejected, low self-esteem, low self-worth. But it feels in this energy, this is a card of surrender. Don't lose sight of your hopes, dreams, wishes. Um, it can also be things like your wor you're feeling your worst fears as well. Worst fears being realised. But being strong to face those fears and overcome them. Let's clarify this moon energy. Yeah, I've got the Ten of Pentacles which is the happy home, blissful relationship, happy, happy ever after card. Uh, it can be a card of marriage, long-term commitment, long-term relationship. There's a feeling that you're finally ready to move on here in the advice from spirit. I mean, the eight of cups, it can be, like I said, you saying goodbye to a situation, them saying goodbye to you. But it's, it's also a card of turning your back on disappointment. Um, because the Eight of Cups moves towards the Nine of Cups, which is the Wish Fulfillment card. And it's also a card of dreams. So there's definitely this energy of there is some kind of opportunity now to get back on track, um, to overcome and conquer what has been a difficult path to walk on. And this feeling of I'm not ready to step into the unknown here, there's definitely a message of you have to focus on new hopes, new dreams, new wishes now and liberate yourself from things that are keeping you trapped. Yeah, because it feels more to do with your own internal energy. There's absolutely, I mean, the Knight of, Knight of Pentacles, like I said, can be an offer, an opportunity, but it feels in this instance some of you are just healing, getting back on track, doing what you need to do to get back on track and find direction, bring change to your circumstances. Uh, there's definitely a sense of recovery, maybe some news or information or conversation that was difficult to deal with, but there's an opportunity now to surrender it, Pisces. So any other advice for Pisces, please, angels, spirits, guides, any other advice for Pisces going forward? Yeah, we have the Two of Pentacles, slowly but surely adapting, opening up your life. After the Five of Coins, which again, I've got the Five of Coins twice, feeling outcast, rejected, um, out in the cold. It feels like you've dealt with some kind of rejection. I mean, this can be you dealing with rejection or another, uh, the, the other half of, you know, you rejecting somebody but it definitely feels like it's played with your energies it feels more to do with you because there's recovery here yeah i love this energy you might well be considering i mean you know there's progress here so the eight of wands um, it, it feels for some of you, you're ready to open up your life again. Now, this message is not dissimilar to what I had for cancer. Um, 
because it, it feels in this situation you are ready to explore new conversations, maybe dating online, maybe connecting to uh, opening up to new connections in terms of love, romance, relationships. And for some of you, there is swift change coming your way when you do. So, yeah, I mean, because I've pulled extra cards, this could be May towards June, but it definitely feels in this energy here, Pisces, there is something, things are beginning to open up for you. It just feels like you're adapting after this rejection energy, whatever this is for you. And you're ready, I mean, where there hasn't been a readiness to explore new territory, it feels like you're ready to take action towards it. This could be, like I said, online dating, connecting to new people, new conversations are bringing swift change your way. So it feels like there's really beautiful hope coming your way as well. Um, possibly new people or a new person or connecting to new people. Some of you could be considering dating again. So I'm going to pull one more card. Yeah. So page of wands, free spirit energy. You know, embracing this free spirit energy. It's also a card of good news. Maybe to do with one of these opportunities, having potential. It might well be for some of you, there is an opportunity within this Eight of Wands, a connection that you're making in the next month or two, uh, because these are extra cards here. I, I definitely see that there, maybe one of these has potential going forward. But for some of you, it feels you're slowly working through getting back on track and oh, slowly but surely it feels like opening up adapting to your circumstances opening up to new possibilities but there's promising news ahead i have to say for some of you so the message is don't don't lose sight of your hopes dreams and wishes um that is the definite energy here it feels for some of you don't lose sight of those hopes dreams and wishes because there's there's change coming ahead um so it feels very, very beautiful indeed. I, so I'm going to pull a final card. Final message for Pisces, please. Final message for Pisces, thank you. In love, romance, relationships. For May 20, yeah. The cat, speak your truth. Have strength, faith and conviction in your voice. It has never been more needed. Um... That can also be about listening to your inner truth. This card as well for me as a reader, our own inner communication about accepting truths. Yeah, so it's, it's a lovely, lovely energy. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Pisces. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month or two for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.